Lone Star Golf here. I want to announce that we are starting a YouTube channel. It's going to be videos of us showcasing Texas golf. So we're going to be going around the small towns, courses you may or may not know about, play the course, show you what it's all about, and then go into town and show you the cool stuff that those little small towns have to offer. Uh, so if you want to do a little Texas road trip of golf courses, we're here to help you with that. Today it's going to be a shorter video. We're not going to play the whole 18. Uh, just going to do a few holes out here. We're at Glen Rose at Squaw Valley. We're playing the Apache Lynx course. Uh, so stay put. We're going to hopefully show you some good golf. It probably won't be. Take that drive on the first shot though. No rain session coming in hot. All right, playing from the blues. This hole's about 370. I got about probably 40 yards to the pin. Uh, kind of hard to find your ball out here with it being burned out, but hey, it's Texas in February. See if I can put one close. This is where we usually have some issues. Got a decent birdie putt. All right, this one looks pretty straight. Maybe a little bit left to right. Leave my glove on like a dummy. Yeah, gonna be a little left to right. Maybe a half cup. Didn't hit any practice putts, so we'll see what the seat's like. Grant Horvat lip out there. All right, we'll take a par on the first hole. All right, this one's a it says it's 207 to the middle, but it's playing like 213. It's kind of in between clubs here, so. I'm gonna go five iron. You definitely would rather be short on this par three. Uh, also want to apologize. I, if the sound is bad, it's because I forgot the mic adapter at the house. So bear with me. First video, come after me. All right, go five iron, hopefully. Front of the green here. Looks like a front pin. Right. Little front right, that's gonna be a long 30 putt. It's a little right to the left. We're gonna pull a Bryson and leave the pin in on this long one here. See if it's good on the left, but let's see if it stays the same. Oh, I didn't hit that near enough. Oof, that was a purse. It's gonna be straighter now. Bogey the first one. The old man kind of staring me down on that last hole. That's kind of weird. Uh, Alright, third hole, par four. A little over 400 yards. Bogey that last one. It is cart path only today, so I'm kind of trying to play cart path golf. See how that works out throughout the day. They're on the green, so we're good. Get a good drive here. Hope I got over that hill. Definitely cart path golf though. Up the left side. 
All right, 160 here. Ended up behind this wheel. It must have rolled back down. Uh, 160, kind of a middle pin. On an eight iron. We're on the front of the green. Too old and fat to be running up hills like that. It's gonna go left to right. We'll lag one up there close. With two putt, we don't want three putt again. Oh, broke more than I thought it would. Good hard look though. Uh, putt for par here. I think this one's going to end up being pretty straight now that I've gotten it off that ridge. Yeah. Straight putt with the turn bait. Stay at one over. Oh, and I blew it by. It's straight though. It's downhill now. Alright, another bogey. Like I said, this probably won't be good golf, but hey, we'll show you some cool courses. In part fast golf, stay on the left side. hooking the driver lately which cart pass on the left side that's not that bad it's gonna be dead in the middle it's what you want most of the time Got a little bit of a break here, ended up in this ground under repair area back here. Took my relief. About 130 to the middle, 115 to the front. I'm gonna go pitch a wedge here. A little less than full. Ended up short right here, kind of short sighted myself. Being chunky. Try to land it just short or just on the green right here. Right on the cut. Six feet. Probably shouldn't have flopped that so much. We'll put that in real quick. Another bogey, three over, three, four. Like I said, probably won't be good. Hey, while we got a minute here, check this out. This is our Let It Ride polo. A little Vegas rodeo theme I came up with for the NFR out in Vegas. All right. And then this is the Feed Store cap. You can get both of these on our website, LoneStarGolfCode.com. All right, while we're waiting here a minute on the tee box, kind of want to tell you a little bit more about what we want to do. Mike will usually be with me, hopefully. Uh, he's still in Houston right now, but we're trying to get things going. Y'all go buy some stuff so he can quit his job and come up here with me. Uh, but yeah, so it'll usually be me and Mike. Hope maybe we'll have some other folks on here, hopefully get some guests. Uh, you know, this is, we want the small town courses to really see the benefit of this, you know. So if you've got a small town course that you like, send us a message. Tell us to go check it out, and we'll try to get out there. It's a 560-yard par 5, 
try not to hook one and put one through a windshield here. Thank God it's not straight into the wind like it was last time I was out here. These guys did the classic, we're 270 yards out and we're going to wait for the green to clear. I don't think they got anywhere close. Hey, we're playing cart path golf today, boys. That's what I like to see. I got about 275 to the green here. Do not trust my three wood. Hit a little five wood, end up a little short, get up and down for birdie here. Horrible car path, y'all. I think I short sighted myself again. You're all right, though. We'll get up and down. All right. Middle 10. 60, 70 yards here. Good luck. Let's see if we can take it close. Up and down for bird here. Oh, I sent the shit out of it. That's off the back of there. You knew that was coming sometime. All right. Send the shit out of it. Went over the green. I'll get up and down here to save cars. Keep rolling. Don't go right. Horrible shit. Alright, ended up two putting. Try to get that hole. Four over three five. I'm up in the middle here, back ten. Backstop here. Keep that one for us. Okay. Oh, stuck right in the middle. And it rolled down the hill. So that's cool. Quite a little thin. Right. Dig up the hill putt. Right to left. Driving par four here, about 290. Need to make something happen here. Haven't been putting well. I'm gonna put it on the green and give myself three putts at par. drawing the ball all day and then have faded one. Alright, must have kicked off that hill because I right in front of the green was short. About 40 yards here. Try to flick one up there. Stay close. Down the far here. Oh, 
fuck me. Ooh. Digging in this soft ground. Kind of wasted opportunity on that gravel bar for no reason to double that. That was stupid. But got a bar five here. Good chance to get one back. Get off this bogey. Oh, never mind. We still got guys walking across the fairway. Forgot that guy was over there. All right, that'll be safe now. Two and one here. That's what I like to see. I'm tired of this low ball flight. Just over 200 yards here. Kind of a middle front pin. The five iron here. Let's try to put. Try to give us an eagle chance. Let's get. Let's do that. Let's get an eagle. Five iron. A little mud ball here. This could be interesting. Because of those bushes, that may be just short. All right, there's some wind up there that killed that. Still going mud ball, so just got more mud on it now. But don't need the rules police coming after me on YouTube. All right, so that wind up there that I, I couldn't feel it. Apparently, that's more than I thought. Knock it down. Still 20 yards short of the green here. The 54. I've got to quit chunking these wedges. That's awful. These wedges have been awful today. Make sure that's straight up the hill. And I yanked it. Y'all gave me that one. Another bogey. This is not going well. All right, well, this is my first time playing on camera, and I got to tell you, this is harder than I thought it would be. I uh, I definitely am guilty of being one of those guys that kind of made fun of, like, the four-play guys, you know? Oh, Riggs in the three. This is, this is different. Uh, definitely different than just playing out here by myself or with buddies, you know? There's, for some reason, I don't know why the camera just gives you a little bit of pressure uh so yeah because like i mean i'm a six and a half and i'm nine over through eight so yeah this is this is different uh it'll take some getting used to but hopefully you guys enjoy it uh the videos will hopefully definitely get better i know this one's probably pretty rough uh but hopefully you guys enjoy it and then uh once we get into doing the full series uh there will be some better content you know this is just get us started here but uh while you're here we should check these out these are going to be some new caps we got coming this one's the frio keep you nice and cool like the frio river in the summer thing doesn't get over 68 it's delightful 
And this one I'm really excited about. My little brother enlisted in the army back in November. Uh, he went to basic day after Christmas. So uh, I made this one for him. It's called the artillery. That's what he's in there doing. He's up at Fort Sill right now. So give him a shout out if you don't mind some support at the going forward flag there. So, you know, support our troops, pre-order that artillery. Both of those hats are available for pre-order right now at uh, LoneStarGolfCo.com. So go over there, get you some, get you some of these sweet polos. We got some more hats. We're going to have a lot more stuff coming out. Uh, we're going to be at the DFW Golf Show in March. Uh, the 17th to the 19th so we'll kind of update y'all when our booth with our booth number and everything uh but we'll we'll be breaking out some new stuff there some new new styles that are coming hopefully they'll be ready by the summer uh but we got a par four here to finish off on the front nine it's going to end it for this video so uh y'all stay with us this content's going to get better i promise as we get used to this and everything so uh stick with me let's go finish this off on a good note all right, 400 yard par four to finish off here. Been driving the ball well today. Hit my irons well today. It's the wedges in the putter that are screwing me. So, uh, got to finish off on a good one here. Oh, that's real nice. It's pretty dang wet out here, so I didn't get any rollout off of that. There's actually a pitch mark right in front of it, so it's got all of eight inches of rollout. So that's cool. Still, that means I mean, I carried it. The 100 yard mark is right there, so I carried it just short of 300, so that's good. All right, about 106 yards here to the middle, about 110 to the pin. I got 54. Don't want to be long of this one. It's a hard downhill putt if you go long. Oh, I saved it. That's not getting any better. I thinned that, sliced it, all that shit. All right, I thinned that thing and that thing shot way over here. So now I got a downhill right away from me chip. Horrible first round on camera, but hey, it's gonna get better. Hopefully you guys will stick with us and go over to LoneStarGolfCo.com, get you some some of these sweet polos, hats, pre-order the artillery and the Frio, and we'll see you at the golf show in March.